Okay class, today we're going to talk about calculating sales and income tax. Alright, um, a few vocabulary words that we're going to talk about today. Um, the first one is sales tax. Sales tax is a tax that's imposed by the state or local government. It is collected by the seller or the service provider. So anytime we go to the store, there's always sales tax. And each state has their particular sales tax rate. And I'm going to write here in Texas. Our sales tax rate is 8.25% is our state sales tax rate. Okay, so anytime you go into the store and you want to calculate what your sales tax is, you can take the amount of that um, item and multiply it by the sales tax to find your, whatever your tax is going to be on that, price, on that um, item. Withholding is the money that the employers deduct from workers' wages that they send to the federal government as partial payment of the workers' yearly income tax. So anytime that we work, uh, we do have to pay taxes on any money that we um, make. Your gross pay is a worker's pay before any amounts are deducted or taken out. And we'll talk more about that here in just a second. Okay. Your net pay is whatever your gross pay is, less all those deductions that are taken out. So that's what your bring home. So I'm going to write that here. This is your bring home pay. It's what you pocket, okay? Then you have your taxable income, which is the total amount of income minus the deductions, okay? And we'll come back to this page here in just a second so that you can get those um, vocabulary words, those definitions to those copied down. Okay, so let's go over to the inside here. And for our first example, we're going to calculate sales tax, okay? And if you can, with your highlighter, highlight the sales tax rate here that we're going to be working with. So in this example here, our sales tax rate is 6.25%. So we're going to complete this table here to find the total cost of the purchase, including tax. Make sure you highlight that total cost, including tax. Now, here we have a table here. We have the items. We have how much it is for one. We have the number of items that we're gonna buy and we have a subtotal. So here, we don't have to calculate, find the subtotal. The subtotal is already given to us. So what I mean by that is, normally we would have to take the items and multiply it by the number to get that subtotal, but that's already done for us. Okay. So now all we have to do is find the tax rate. Set that focus here. Okay, so now when we talked about calculating sales tax back in module three, applications of percents, we set up a percent proportion, okay? And we talked briefly about a couple of ways we could do that now when you go into the store um you pretty i'm probably sure pre pretty much sure that you probably will not have a piece of paper with you to set up a proportion but there's also that other way we can calculate the sales tax okay now i will do one example with showing the proportion way if you're comfortable with that but i also show you the easy and quick way to calculate the sales tax Okay, so let's first do the proportion way, which you're com most comfortable with. Okay, so if I were to try to find the tax for um, the felt here, what I would do is I would set the proportion up. And I know 100 always goes here, and the percent always goes over 100. And whatever my subtotal is would go here. Okay, now to find the tax. Now this right here is going to be a little bit much for us to figure out. Um, we would do 6.25 times 14. And if we get there, we would divide by 100 or move the decimal over two places. Um, this would be, you, you can still do it this way. But the other way you can do it is you can go ahead and turn your 
percent into a decimal and to turn that into a decimal we will take the decimal and go two places to the left one two so my tax rate will be point zero six two five and what we will do with that is we can take whatever our subtotal is so we do 14 and multiply it by that decimal amount 0 0.0625 and that will give us what our tax amount is how much tax we're going to be added on which would be 88 cents okay now if we were to do the same thing here we would still get 88 cents but what we would do with that 88 cents we would add it back to our subtotal so my tax would be 88 cents here so my total for felt would be 14 88 okay we'll do one more and then I'll have you turn and talk with your partner to figure out what the ribbon and the paint is so for glitter we would take that 299 and we will multiply it by 0 0.0625 because we're doing the same thing here we set it for proportion and we would get 19 cents okay so our tax here would be 19 cents and we would add that to the $2.99, which would give us $3.18. So here now, I'm going to pause. I'm going to give you a few minutes, and I want you to find, talk with your partner and find the tax amount for ribbon and paint and get me a total. Okay, so if we were to do the ribbon and the paint, we would do the $8.85 times the 0.625, which would give me $0.55 cents for the tax for the ribbon. So my total there would be $9.40. And for the paint, we would do $9.18 times 0 0.0625. That would give me $0.57. Cents. So my total for the paint would be $9.75. So if I were to add this whole column here it would give me my total cost which would be $37.21 so that's how you calculate the sales tax okay you can do it two ways if you're com more comfortable with setting up as a proportion you can do that as well just know that when you get this amount here you need to add it back to your subtotal in order to get what your total is including tax okay all right so now the next example here is calculating withholding now here's what we're getting to um the pay and the real life situations here so when you guys um get a job you'll know how to calculate your withholding how much is going to be taken out of your check okay so now we have Novak here has a monthly gross pay of $9,075. Now his federal withholding is 17.95%. Okay. All right. His deductions for Social Security and for Medicare are $381.15 and $131.59. What's his net pay? So we want to know what his net pay is. We have his gross pay, which is how much he makes a month. But as you say, Uncle Sam, federal government, they have to take their part as well. So the first thing we want to do is anything that's taken out, anything that's withholding, we're going to subtract it from our gross pay to see how much we're going to take home. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take his gross pay. And we're going to figure out what his withholding is. Look at his percent, figure out what the withholding is. All right. So we're going to take that 9000 75 and we're going to multiply it by the percent all right so in order to turn this into a percent again excuse me to a decimal i will take this percent and move it over two places so i will get 0.1795 okay and i will multiply that out and i will get 1628.95 so this is how much the federal withholding is. All right. So this is one thing. This is what withholding. This is the tax, the Fed federal tax withholding. Okay. So now he has more deductions, 
for Social Security and for Medicare. Okay, so now that's more that's going to be taken out of his check. So now we need to take the nine thousand seventy-five dollars, and we need to calculate what it is, including his deductions. Now, what I want you and your partner to do is turn and talk, and I want you to tell me what am I going to take out, and how much would my net pay be? Okay, so what you and your partner should have discovered is we're going to take the withholding and the Social Security and the Medicare, and we're going to subtract it from what his gross pay is, okay? And what you should have gotten was $6,933.30 is what he's going to take home. That's his net pay. So as you see, even though we make this amount per month, or per bi-weekly or however you get paid, there are certain taxes. You have the, the tax that's taken out, you have Social Security, you have Medicare, and you end up bringing six, so that's almost, that's $3,000, guys, that you have to take out of your check, okay? So we this is, what, this is what you have to look forward to here. You make this amount, no matter how much you make, there's something gonna be taken out. You're not gonna take home what you make, okay? There's a take home there. All right. Now let's go over to calculating income tax. Okay. So it is that season, and here's how they calculate your income. So here's a scenario here. After the deductions, Thea has a taxable income of $31,286. She paid a total of $4,185 in federal withholding. We're going to find the tax due on Thea's income. Will she have to pay an additional amount or will she get a refund? Okay, so let's look at here. Normally, when we have, when you're trying to calculate the income tax, you will have to look at a bracket here, a tax bracket here. So if line 43, which is the taxable income, which is her $31,286, is at least this amount but not less than this amount then your tax is going to be this amount over here in this third column so let's find out where her tax lies so i right now i'm going to pause and i want you and your partner to figure out where does her tax where does she lie on this chart okay so with your highlighter oh what you should have discussed is with you and your partner you should have found out that she lies here so her tax is $4,266. Okay, so now she paid a total of $4,185 in federal withholding. Now, this is what her tax is. Now, the thing you have to figure out now is will she have to pay an additional amount or will she get a refund? So now we're going to take this amount here, the $4,266, and we're going to subtract $4,185. Okay. And when you subtract that, you get $81. So now, my question to you and your party is, will she have to pay an additional $81 or will she get that back? Looking at what she has paid, the total withholding, and what the tax is. I'll give you a few seconds to talk with your partner. Okay, so what you and your partner should have come up with is she will have to pay an additional $81 because her total withholding did not reach this amount here okay all right so she has to pay an additional 81 dollars all right now that is how you calculate the total income tax so now let's go back to the first page i'm going to give you a second here to write down these definitions we're going to take a little bit of time so there's sales tax and withholding i'm going to pause and let you get that Okay, there's gross pay and net pay. And there's your taxable income. Okay, so we just did calculating sales tax and income tax.